Muhammad Amir Hussain Khan, pronounced Amir Xan, born the 14th of March 1965, widely known as Amir Khan, is an Indian film actor, filmmaker, and television talk show host. Through his 30-year career in Hindi films, Khan has established himself as one of the most popular and influential actors of Indian cinema. He has a large global following, especially in India and China, and has been described by Newsweek as the biggest movie star in the world. Khan is the recipient of numerous awards, including nine Filmfare Awards, four National Film Awards, and an AACTA Award. He was honoured by the Government of India with the Padma Shri in 2003 and the Padma Bhushan in 2010, and received an honorary title from the Government of China in 2017. Khan first appeared on screen as a child actor in his uncle Nasir Hussain's film Yadan Ki Bharat. As an adult, his first feature film role was in the experimental film Holi 1984, and he began a full-time acting career with a leading role in the tragic romance Kayamit Se Kayamit Talk His performance in the film and in the thriller Rock 1989 earned him a National Film Award in the Special Mention category. He established himself as a leading actor of Hindi cinema in the 1990s by appearing in a number of commercially successful films, including the romantic dramas Dil 1990 and Raja Hindustani 1996, for which he won his first Filmfare Award for Best Actor, and the thriller Sarfarish He also played against type in the acclaimed Canadian-Indian co-production 1947, Earth 1998. .In 1999 he founded Amir Khan Productions, whose first film, Lagan 2001, was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film, and earned him a National Film Award for Best Popular Film and two more Filmfare Awards Best Actor and Best Film. After a four-year absence from the screen, Khan returned to portray leading roles, notably in the 2006 box office hits Fana and Rang de Basanti. He made his directorial debut with Tar Zameen Par 2007, a major success that garnered him the Filmfare Awards for Best Film and Best Director. Khan's greatest global success came with the thriller Gajani 2008, the comedy drama Three Idiots 2009, the action film Doom 3 2013, the satire PK 2014, and the sports biopic Dangle 2016, each having held the record for being the highest grossing Indian film, while Secret Superstar 2017 held the record for being highest grossing Indian film featuring a female protagonist. Khan won his third Best Actor Award at Filmfare for Dangle. His films are known for dealing with social issues in Indian society, and they often combine the entertainment and production values of commercial masala films with the believable narratives and strong messages of parallel cinema. Within and beyond the film industry, Khan is an activist and humanitarian, and has participated and spoken out for various social causes, some of which have sparked political controversy. He has created and hosted the television talk show Satyamev Jayate, through which he highlights sensitive social issues in India, occasionally influencing the Indian parliament. His work as a social reformer, tackling issues ranging from poverty and education to abuse and discrimination, earned him an appearance on the Time 100 list of most influential people in the world. Khan was married to his first wife, Reena Dutta, for 15 years, after which he married the film director Kiran Rao. He has three children two with Dutta, and one with Rao through surrogacy. <laughs> Early life and background Khan was born on 14 March 1965 in Mumbai to Tahir Hussain, a film producer, and Zenat Hussain. Several of his relatives were members of the Hindi film industry, including his late paternal uncle, the producer-director Nasir Hussain. He has a relation to the cinema of Pakistan as well, being a relative of movie director Syed Sibtain Fazli Allahabad, 1916 Lahore, 1985, and whose grandson, Umer Fazli, also a movie director, made the 2016 box office success Saya e Kuda e Zuljalal, himself being the brother of Aisha Fazli, the wife of singer-actor Ali Zafar of Pakistan. Outside the movie industry, he is also related to the Indian Islamic scholar, philosopher and politician Abul Kalam Azad through his grandmother. Khan is the eldest of four siblings, he has a brother, the actor Faisal Khan, and two sisters, Farhat and Nakat Khan married to Santosh Hegde. His nephew, Imran Khan, is a contemporary Hindi film actor. As a child actor, Khan appeared on screen in two minor roles. 
At the age of eight, he appeared in a highly popular song in the Nasir Hussain directed film Yadan ki Bharat, 1973, which was the first Bollywood masala film. The following year, he portrayed the younger version of Mahendra Sandhu's character in his father's production Madhash. Khan attended J.B. Petit School for his pre primary education, later switching to St. Anne's High School, Bandra until the 8th grade, and completed his 9th and 10th grade at the Bombay Scottish School, Mahim. He played tennis in state level championships, and became a state level champion. He has professed he was much more into sports than studies. He completed his 12th grade from Mumbai's Narsi Manji College. Khan described his childhood as tough due to the financial problems faced by his father, whose film productions were mostly unsuccessful. He said, There would be at least 30 calls a day from creditors calling for their money. He was always at risk of being expelled from school for non payment of fees. At the age of 16, Khan was involved in the experimental process of making a 40 minute silent film, Paranoia, which was directed by his school friend Aditya Bhattacharya. The film was funded by the filmmaker Sriram Lagu, an acquaintance of Bhattacharya, who provided them with a few thousand rupees. Khan's parents did not want him to make films, wishing that he would instead pursue a steady career as an engineer or doctor. For that reason, the shooting schedule of Paranoia was a clandestine one. In the film, he played the lead role alongside actors Nina Gupta and Victor Banerjee, while simultaneously assisting Bhattacharya. He said that the experience of working on it encouraged him to pursue a career in film. Khan subsequently joined a theater group called Avantar, where he performed backstage activities for over a year. He made his stage debut with a small role in the company's Gujarati play, Kesar Bina, at Prithvi Theater. He went on to two of their Hindi plays, and one English play, which was titled Clearing House. After completing high school, Khan decided to discontinue studying, choosing instead to work as an assistant director to Nasir Hussain on the Hindi films Manzil Manzil and Zabardast Acting career Topic: 1984 to 1989, debut and career challenges. In addition to assisting Hussain, Khan acted in documentaries directed by the students of FTII, Pune. The director Keaton Mehta noticed Khan in those films, and he offered him a role in the low-budget experimental film Holi, 1984. Featuring an ensemble cast of newcomers, Holi was based on a play by Mahesh Elkunchwar, and dealt with the practice of ragging in India. The New York Times said that the film was melodramatic, but very decently and exuberantly performed by the non-professional actors. Khan's role was that of a rowdy college student, an insignificant role that was described by CNN Ibn as lacking in finesse. Holi failed to garner a broad audience, but Nasir Hussain and his son Mansour signed him as the leading man in Mansour's directorial debut Kayamit Se Kayamit Talk alongside Juhi Chawla. The film was a tale of unrequited love and parental opposition, with Khan portraying Raj, a clean-cut, wholesome boy next door. The plot was a modern-day take on classic tragic romance stories such as Layla and Majnun, Here Ranja, and Romeo and Juliet. Kayamit Say Kayamit Talk proved to be a major commercial success, catapulting both Khan and Chala to stardom. It received seven Filmfare Awards including a Best Male Debut Trophy for Khan. The film has since attained cult status, with Bollywood Hangama crediting it as a path-breaking and trend-setting film for Indian cinema. Kayamit Se Kayamit Talk was a milestone in the history of Hindi cinema, setting the template for Bollywood musical romance films that defined Hindi cinema in the 1990s. The year 1989 saw the release of Rock, a crime thriller from Aditya Bhattacharya that was filmed before the production of Kayamit Se Kayamit Talk. The film tells the story of a young man avenging the rape of his ex girlfriend. Played by Supriya Padak. Despite a poor reception at the box office, the film was critically acclaimed. Khan was awarded a National Film Award, Special Jury Award, Special Mention for his performances in both Kayamit Say Kayamit Talk and Rock. Later that year, he reunited with Chala for the romantic comedy Love Love Love, a commercial failure.
1990–2001, successful career and acting break Khan had five film releases in 1990. He found no success in the sport film Awal Number with Aditya Panchali and Dev Anand, the mythological thriller Tum Mir Ho, the romance Diwana Muj Sa Naheen and the social drama Jawani Zindabad. However, the Indra Kumar-directed romantic drama Dil opposite Madhuri Dixit was a major success. A tale of parental opposition to teenage love, Dil was highly popular among the youth, and emerged as the highest-grossing Hindi film of the year. He followed this success with a leading role alongside Pooja Bhatt in the romantic comedy Dil Hai K Manta Naheen 1991, a remake of the American film It Happened One Night 1934, which proved to be a box office hit. Khan appeared in several other films in the early 1990s, including Jo Jita Wohi Sikander Hum Hain Rahi Pyar K for which he also wrote the screenplay, and Rangila most of these films were successful critically and commercially. Other successes include Andaz Apna Apna, co-starring Salman Khan. At the time of its release, the movie was reviewed unfavorably by critics, but over the years has gained cult status. Less successful films included Isi Ka Nam Zindagi and Daulat Ki Young In 1993, Khan also appeared in Yash Chopra's Parampara. Despite having an ensemble cast which also included Sunil Dutt, Vinod Khanna, Ravina Tandon and Saif Ali Khan, the film failed to find a wide audience and became a critical and commercial failure. Khan was also due to appear in Time Machine, a science fiction film also starring Rekha, Ravina Tandon, Nasiruddin Shah and Amrish Puri. The movie was directed by Shikhar Kapur. However, due to financial constraints, the film was shelved and remained unreleased. Khan continued to act in just one or two films a year, then an unusual trait for a mainstream Hindi cinema actor. His only release in 1996 was the Dharmesh Darshan directed commercial blockbuster Raja Hindustani, in which he was paired opposite Charisma Kapoor. The film earned him his first Filmfare Award for Best Actor, after seven previous nominations, and went on to become the biggest hit of the year, as well as the third highest grossing Indian film of the 1990s. It was the biggest hit of his career up until that point. Adjusted for inflation, Raja Hindustani is the fourth highest grossing film in India since the 1990s. Khan's career seemed to hit a plateau at this point of time, and most of the films to follow for the next few years were only partially successful. In 1997, he co-starred alongside Ajay Devgn, Kajol and Juhi Chawla in ISHQ, which performed well at the box office. The following year, Khan appeared in the moderately successful Ghulam, for which he also did playback singing. John Matthew Mathan Sarfarish, Khan's first release in 1999, was also moderately successful, gaining an above-average box office verdict. The film and Khan's role in it were highly appreciated by movie critics, as was his role in Deepa Mehta's Canadian Indian art house film Earth 1998. Set during the 1947 partition of India, Earth was internationally acclaimed, by critics such as Roger Ebert, with Khan's negative portrayal of Dil Nawaz, Ice Candy Man, considered his best performance up until then. His first release for the new millennium, Mela, in which he acted alongside his real-life brother Faisal Khan, was both a box office and critical bomb. He produced and starred in Lagan 2001, which was a major critical and commercial success, and received a nomination for Best Foreign Language Film at the 74th Academy Awards. Additionally, the film gathered critical acclaim at several international film festivals, in addition to winning numerous Indian awards, including a National Film Award. Khan also won his second Filmair Award for Best Actor. The success of Lagan was followed by Dil Chata Hay later that year, in which Khan co starred with Saif Ali Khan and Akshay Khanna, with Prati Zinta playing his love interest. It also starred Sonali Kulkarni and Dimple Kapadia. The film was written and directed by the then debutante foreign actor. The film won the 2001 Filmair Critics Award for Best Film. Khan then took a four year break from Bollywood after divorce from his wife Rina Dutta. 2005-2007, acting comeback and directorial debut Khan made a comeback in 2005 with Keaton Mehta's Mangal Pandey, The Rising playing the title role of the real-life sepoy and martyr who helped spark the Indian Rebellion of 1857. The film was screened at the Cannes Film Festival, Rakesh Omprakash Mehra's award-winning Rang de Basanti was Khan's first release in 2006. 
His performance was critically acclaimed, earning him a Filmfare Critics Award for Best Actor and various nominations for Best Actor. The film went on to become one of the highest grossing films of the year, and was selected as India's official entry to the Oscars. Although the film was not shortlisted as a nominee for the Oscar, it received a nomination for BAFTA Award for Best Film Not in the English Language at the BAFTA Awards in England. In his next movie, Fana 2006, Khan Ko starred with Kajol. Playing the role of a Kashmiri insurgent terrorist, his second negative role after Earth, the role offered him creative possibilities to try something different. Fana became one of the highest grossing Indian films of 2006. His 2007 film, Tar Zameen Par, was also produced by him and marked his directorial debut. The film, which was the second offering from Amir Khan Productions, starred Khan in a supporting role as a teacher who befriends and helps a dyslexic child. It opened to excellent responses from critics and audiences. Khan's performance was well received, although he was particularly applauded for his directing. Khan received the Filmfare Awards for Best Director and Best Film of 2007, as well as the National Film Award for Best Film on Family Welfare. The film won other awards, including the 2008 Z Cine Awards and 4th Aspara Film and Television Producers Guild Awards. The film was initially acclaimed as India's official entry for the 2009 Academy Awards Best Foreign Film. Topic. 2008 present, resurgence and global success In 2008, Khan appeared in the movie Gajani. The film was a major commercial success and became the highest grossing Bollywood movie of that year. For his performance in the film, Khan received several Best Actor nominations at various award ceremonies as well as his 15th Filmfare Best Actor nomination. In 2009, Khan appeared in the commercially and critically acclaimed film Three Idiots as Ranchota's Chanchad. Three Idiots became the highest grossing Bollywood film ever at the time, breaking the previous record set by Gajani, which also starred Khan. Three Idiots was one of the few Indian films to become a success in East Asian markets such as China and Japan, at the time, making it the highest-grossing Bollywood film ever in overseas markets. It was expected to be the first Indian film to be officially released on YouTube, within 12 weeks of releasing in theatres on 25 March 2010, but finally got officially released on YouTube in May 2012. The film won six Filmfare Awards including Best Film and Best Director, 10 Star Screen Awards, 8 IIFA Awards, and 3 National Film Awards. Overseas, it won the Grand Prize at Japan's Videoyasan Awards, and was nominated for Best Outstanding Foreign Language Film at the Japan Academy Awards and Best Foreign Film at China's Beijing International Film Festival. Khan has been credited with opening up the Chinese markets for Indian films. His father Tahir Hussain previously had success in China with Caravan 1971, but Indian films declined in the country afterwards, before Amir Khan opened up the Chinese market for Indian films in the early 21st century. His Academy Award-nominated Lagan became the first Indian film to have a nationwide release there. When Three Idiots released in China, the country was only the 15th largest film market, partly due to China's widespread pirate DVD distribution at the time. However, it was the pirate market that introduced Three Idiots to most Chinese audiences, becoming a cult hit in the country. It became China's 12th favorite film of all time, according to ratings on Chinese film review site Duban, with only one domestic Chinese film Farewell My Concubine ranked higher. Amir Khan gained a large growing Chinese fanbase as a result. After Three Idiots went viral, several of his other films, such as Tar Zameen Par 2007 and Gajani 2008, also gained a cult following. By 2013, China grew to become the world's second largest film market after the United States, paving the way for Amir Khan's Chinese box office success, with Doom 3 2013, PK 2014, and especially Dangle 2016. It was reported that Khan had disagreements with director Rima Kagti over the issue of his 2012 film Talash, causing significant delays in the film's release. However, Khan said that the claims were baseless. The film was a hit in India and overseas markets. Khan's next venture was Doom 3 with Yash Raj Films. He has considered this to be the most difficult role of his career. The film was released worldwide on the 20th of December 2013. Box Office India declared Doom 3 the biggest hit of 2013. 
After two days of release, with the film grossing 2 billion rupees $28 million worldwide in three days and 4 billion rupees $56 million worldwide in ten days, making it the highest grossing Bollywood film of all time. In 2014, Khan appeared as the eponymous alien in Rajkumar Harani's comedy drama PK. It also starred Anushka Sharma, Sushant Singh Rajput, Bowman Irani, and Sanjay Dutt in pivotal roles. The film received critical acclaim and emerged as the highest grossing Bollywood film of all time the fourth time Khan achieved this feat. Khan's performance was unanimously praised by critics including Tamil leading actor Vijay was impressed by Amir's perfection and dedication and reportedly enjoyed the film with his family on Christmas Eve. Raja Sen called the film a triumph and said, Amir Khan is exceptional in PK, creating an irresistibly goofy character and playing him with absolute conviction." The film won two Filmfare Awards, and in Japan received a top award at the 9th Tokyo Newspaper Film Awards event held by Tokyo Shimbun Newspaper. Khan produced and starred in Dangle 2016, directed by Nitesh Tiwari, with Khan portraying wrestler Mahavir Singh Fogat. He played him at several different ages, from 20 to 60 years old, gaining 30 kilograms and weighing 98 kilograms to play the older Fogat, then losing the weight to play the younger version. The film received positive reviews from critics and emerged as the highest grossing Bollywood film of all time domestically, surpassing PK, making it the fifth time Khan had achieved this feat. Dangle also became an overseas blockbuster success in China, where it was the 16th highest grossing film of all time, the 8th highest grossing foreign film, and the highest grossing non-Hollywood foreign film. Worldwide, it became the 5th highest grossing non-English language film of all time, earning Khan one of the highest salaries for a non-Hollywood actor, at $42 million. Dangle has also been watched over 350 million times on Chinese streaming platforms. Dangle won him two more Filmfare Awards Best Film and his third Best Actor Award in October 2017. Khan starred in a supporting role in his production Secret Superstar, with his Dangle co-star Zyra Wasim playing the lead role. See Film Production and Direction section below for further details on the film. In November 2018, he starred alongside veteran actor Amitabh Bachchan in the action-adventure film Thugs of Hindustan. The film reunited him with Doom 3's director Vijay Krishna Acharya, and also starred Fatima Sana Sheikh and Katrina Kaif. Sheikh also appeared in Dangle while Kaif appeared alongside Khan in Doom 3. <laughs> <laughs> film production and direction Khan Co wrote the screenplay and script for the 1993 hit romantic comedy film Hum Hain Rahi Pyar K, where he also starred in the lead role. Khan began working as a producer after he set up his own production company, Amir Khan Productions, in 1999. Its first film was Lagan, which was released in 2001, starring Khan as the lead actor. The film was selected as India's official entry to the 74th Academy Awards in the Best Foreign Language Film category, for which it became India's third nominee ever. It eventually lost the award to Bosnian film No Man's Land. Lagan won numerous awards at several Indian award functions such as Filmfare and IIFA, and won the National Film Award for Most Popular Film, an award shared between Khan and the film's director, Ashutosh Gowarikar. For producing the documentary Madness in the Desert on the Making of Lagan, Khan and director Satyajit Bhatkal were awarded the National Film Award for Best Exploration – Adventure Film at the 51st National Film Awards Ceremony. Khan wrote the climax of Rang de Basanti 2006, which he starred in. In 2007, he directed and produced the drama Tar Zameen Par, which marked his directorial debut. Khan also played a supporting role in the film, sharing the screen with new child actor Darshil Safara. The film was conceived of and developed by the husband and wife team of Amoli Gupta and Deepa Bhatia. It is the story of a young child who suffers in school until a teacher identifies him as dyslexic. The movie was critically acclaimed, as well as a box office success. Tar Zameen Par won the 2008 Filmfare Best Movie Award as well as a number of other Filmfare and Star Screen Awards. Khan's work also won him the Best Director. In 2008, Khan launched his nephew Imran Khan's debut in the film John II. Ya John Na under his production house. The film was a big hit in India, and earned Khan another nomination for Best Film at Filmfare. 
He also co-wrote the blockbuster film Gajani, 2008, which he starred in. Khan made alterations to the original 2005 Tamil film and rewrote the climax. In 2010, he released his production Peepli Live, which was selected as India's official entry for the 83rd Academy Awards Best Foreign Film category. In 2011, Khan released his home production Dobi Got, an art house film directed by his wife Kiran Rao. In same year, Khan co produced the English language black comedy film Delhi Belly with UTV Motion Pictures, starring Imran Khan, Kunal Roy Kapper, and Veer Das. The film opened to critical acclaim and was a commercial success, with a domestic revenue of over 550 million rupees $7 .7 million. In 2012, Khan starred in Reema Kagti's neo-noir mystery film Talash, which was a joint production of Excel Entertainment and Amir Khan Productions. The film was declared a semi-hit in India and accumulated a worldwide gross of 1.74 billion rupees, 24 million dollars. Khan, who debuted as a child actor in the first Masala film, his uncle Nasir Hussain's Yadan Ki Bharat, 1973, has been credited with redefining and modernizing the Masala film with his own distinct brand of cinema in the early 21st century, earning both commercial success and critical acclaim. His films blur the distinction between commercial masala films and realistic parallel cinema, combining the entertainment and production values of the former with the believable narratives and strong messages of the latter, earning both commercial success and critical acclaim. In India and overseas, his most successful production has been Dangle, 2016, where he stars in the lead role, which became the highest grossing Indian film of all time. See 2008 present, resurgence and global success section above for further details on the film. His next production was Secret Superstar 2017, where he stars in a supporting role, with Dangle Go star Zaira Wasim in the lead role. It became one of the most profitable films ever, compared to its limited budget. In China, Secret Superstar broke Dangle's record for the highest grossing opening weekend by an Indian film, cementing Amir Khan's status as a superstar in China, and as a king of the Chinese box office. Secret Superstar is the third highest grossing Indian film of all time, and the second highest grossing Indian film ever overseas, behind only his own Dangle. With his films giving serious competition to Hollywood in the Chinese market, the success of films such as Dangle and Secret Superstar has drove up the buyout prices of Indian film imports for Chinese distributors. With Secret Superstar, Amir Khan has become the only Indian actor with four films in the 500 crore rupees club, after Doom 3 2013, PK 2014, and Dangle, as well as the only Indian actor with three $100 million grocers, after PK and Dangle. Secret Superstar grossed more than 900 crore rupees, 130 million dollars worldwide on a budget of 15 crore rupees, 2.1 million dollars, over 6000% return on investment (ROI). Amir Khan's earnings for Secret Superstar from the China box office is estimated to be 190 crore rupees, 26 million dollars, higher than what any other Indian actor producer has ever earned from a film. The film has increased Amir Khan's China box office total to 346.5 million dollars, 2231 crore rupees. Topic: Television career. Around August 2011, Khan started talks with Siddhartha Basu's Big Synergy to host a talk show similar to the Oprah Winfrey show. Khan made his television debut with his talk show, Satyam Ev Jayate. The show dealt with social issues. It started airing on 6 May 2012. Amir was paid 30 million rupees rupees per episode to host the Satyam Ev Jayate, and it made him the highest paid host in Indian television industry as of June 2012. Amir, speaking on a radio channel, said that in view of phenomenal public response, he may come up with a second season of the show. The show went live simultaneously on Star Plus, Star World and national broadcaster Doordarshan on the 11 a.m. Sunday slot in eight languages, being the first to do so in India. Satyam Ev Jayate opened to positive reviews and feedback from social activists, media houses, doctors, and film and television personalities. Khan was also praised for his effort. In her review, Ritu Singh of Ibn Live stated, Amir Khan deserves an applause for bringing up such a sensitive issue and presenting it in a hard-hitting way. The amount of research Amir and his team has put into the show was clearly visible with the facts and figures presented. 
Every aspect of the issue was covered with great diligence. Parmita Uniel from Hindustan Times praised the content and con for step ing in to do what journalists are supposed to do, make a difference. The show is a classic example of that. Despite the initial hype and being labeled as the channel's most ambitious project to date, the initial viewership figures were not very encouraging. The show received an average television rating of 2.9 with a reach of 14.4 million. It was watched by only 20% of TV viewers in the 6 metros in its debut episode on the 6th of May. The rating was far lower than those of most other celebrity hosted shows at the time. Ratings for the show eventually picked up and it became very successful. The first season of Satyamev Jayate garnered over a billion digital impressions from 165 countries. The second season of Satyamev Jayate drew an audience of 600 million viewers in India. The issues discussed on the show garnered national attention, with several being discussed in parliament and influencing politicians and lawmakers to take action. After the first episode, for example, Rajasthan Chief Minister, Ashok Galat, urged public representatives and non-governmental organizations to take actions to stop the illegal practice of female feticide. Khan met Galat over the issue, and Galat accepted the request to set up Fast Track Court to deal the case of the sting operation featured on the show. Following the second episode, the helpline for children received an increased number of calls from across the country, reporting child abuse. The legislation to protect children below 18 years from sexual abuse became a reality with the Lok Sabha passing the bill. After exposing medical malpractice in another episode, Amir Khan became the first non-MP to be invited to the Indian Parliament, where he and his creative team presented research on the subject and discussed core issues related to the medical fraternity. Khan has made a number of appearances on other TV shows. In October 2013, Khan appeared as a guest celebrity contestant in the show Khan Banega Kropati for the promotion of his film Doom 3. In early 2016, following the intolerance controversy, he made an appearance on AAP Ki Adalat, where he clarified his remarks and views. In 2017, he was the subject of an episode of the Al Jazeera documentary series Witness entitled, The Snake Charmer, focusing on his work on Satyamev Jayate as well as Dangle. Brand endorsements Amir has also done many brand endorsements like Titan Watches, Snapdeal, Coca-Cola, Tata Sky, Samsung, Godrej, etc. He is currently endorsing Vivo. Amir is said to be one of the costliest when it comes to brand endorsements, but companies agree to his demand because of his huge fan following. In the media In a 2009 interview, Khan stated that he tends to take an independent approach to the world of filmmaking, noting that he does not do different things, I try to do it in a different manner. I think every person should follow his, her dream and try and make it possible to create an ability to achieve it backed by its practicality. He has also indicated that he is more interested in the process of filmmaking than in the end result. For me, the process is more important, more joyful. I would like to have my entire concentration on the process right from the first step. Khan has a reputation for avoiding award ceremonies and not accepting any popular Indian film awards. Though nominated many times, Khan has not attended any Indian film award ceremonies and has stated that. Indian Film Awards Lack Credibility." When asked about the selection procedure and authenticity of popular Indian Film Awards, Amir Khan said, "...fact is that I have no objections to film awards. I just feel that if I don't value a particular film award, then I won't attend it either. Apart from the National Film Awards, I don't see any other award ceremony that I should give value to." My personal experience about these award ceremonies is that I don't trust them. I have no faith in them so I would prefer to stay away." In 2007, Khan was invited to have a wax imitation of himself put on display at Madame Tussauds in London. Khan declined, saying, "'It's not important to me. People will see my films if they want to. Also, I cannot deal with so many things, I have bandwidth only for that much." 
Khan also endorsed brands including Coca-Cola, Godrej, Titan Watches, Tata Sky, Toyota Innova, Samsung, Monaco Biscuits and Snapdeal. In April 2013, he was among Time magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Khan was featured on the cover of Time magazine Asia edition in the September 2012 issue with title, Khan's Quest. He is breaking the Bollywood mold by tackling India's social evils. Can an actor change a nation? In addition to being highly popular in India, he is also highly popular overseas, particularly in China, the second largest movie market. He is the most followed Indian national on Chinese social media site Sina Weibo, above Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Khan is also popular in Turkey, Hong Kong, and Singapore, among many other countries. In February 2015, Khan stated his views at a popular online comedy group All India Bakshad for its celebrity roast episode. He said, I completely believe in freedom of speech, no issues. But we have to understand that we all have a certain responsibility. When I heard what was being described to me I felt it was a violent event. He further said violence is not just physical but it has verbal aspects to it. Calling the roast a shameless act, Khan did not spare even his friends from the film industry Karen, Ranveer and Arjun. In Indian media, he is often referred to as Mr. Perfectionist for his passionate dedication to his work. In Chinese media, he is often referred to as a national treasure of India or conscience of India. Due to much of his work tackling various social issues that are pervasive in Indian society, some of which are also relevant to Chinese society, in a way that domestic Chinese films often don't. His work is highly regarded in China, with films such as Tar Zameen Par 2007, Three Idiots 2009, and Dangle 2016, as well as his television show Satyam Ev Jayate being some of the highest rated productions on popular Chinese site Duban. In China, Khan is known for being associated with quality cinema and committed to social causes, and is often seen as an activist actor. In the past, Chinese media used to refer to him as India's Andy Lau, referencing similarities to the famous Hong Kong film star, but as Khan gained more familiarity with mainstream Chinese audiences, younger fans have often referred to him by the moniker Uncle Amir, or Mishu, or Mi Shu, in Chinese, meaning Uncle Me, an affectionate translation of Amir. He has become a household name in China, where he is currently the most famous Indian. His book I'll Do It My Way commonly found in bookstores across China, while Chinese retailers sell merchandise ranging from Uncle Amir, smartphone cases to Doom 3 style black hats. His effect in China has drawn comparisons with previous Indian cultural icons in the country, including the Buddha, Bengali writer Rabindranath Tagore, and actors Raj Kapoor and Nargis. <laughs> Humanitarian, social and political causes In April 2006, Khan participated in the demonstrations put up by the Narmada Bachao Andolan Committee with their leader Mehta Patkar after the Gujarat government's decision to raise the height of the Narmada Dam. He quoted to support Adivasis, tribes, who might be displaced from their homes. Later he faced protests and a partial ban on his film Fana, but the Prime Minister of India, Manmohan Singh, supported him by saying, Everyone has the freedom of expression. If someone says something on a particular subject, that doesn't mean you should start protesting. Amir also lent his support to the Janlokpal Bill movement led by Anna Hazare in August 2011. He has been supporting common causes. When asked about views on the entertainment tax in the 2012 budget, Khan said, I don't want any reduction in that, all I expect is focus on education and nutrition. He quit the GOI's copyrights panels in February 2010 after facing sharp differences with other members. During the promotion of Three Idiots, he journeyed to diverse parts of India, mostly to small towns, noting that, "...filmmakers from Mumbai don't understand small-town India." This experience of reaching out to, "...regional India," was extended in his debut TV show, Satyamev Jayate. On 16 July 2012, Khan met the Prime Minister and the Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment and discussed the plight of manual scavengers and sought eradication of manual scavenging in the country. On 30 November 2011, Khan was appointed National Brand Ambassador of UNICEF to promote child nutrition. 
He is part of the government organized IEC campaign to raise awareness about malnutrition. He is also known for supporting causes such as feminism and improved education in India, which are themes in several of his films. His crossover success in China has been described as a form of Indian soft power, helping to improve China-India relations, despite political tensions between the two nations such as Doklam and the Maldives, with Khan stating he wants to help improve India-China ties. Due to Amir Khan being a household name in China, he is being considered as India's brand ambassador to China by the Indian Commerce Ministry, which may contribute to reducing the trade deficit with China. In 2016, Amir Khan came up with Maharashtra government to make Maharashtra drought free in next five years. He has been doing Shramdan from last three years. He even asks people to come join him in this cause and become a Jalmitra by doing Shramdan. While explaining to journalists, Amir said, the reason why popular TV show Satyamev Jayate did not go on air was not because of court's verdict, but because all the producers, directors and talents working on this show were busy in this water project. For us, the water conservation project in the state is the most important initiative. <laughs> Political controversies Gujarat Controversy 2006. In 2006, Amir Khan lent his support to the Narmada Bachao Andolan movement, led by activist Mehta Patkar, in their actions against raising the height of Sardar Sarovar Dam. While promoting his film Fana in Gujarat, he made some comments regarding the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi's handling of the Narmada Dam and the necessity to rehabilitate the displaced villagers. These comments were met with outrage from the BJP, with the government of Gujarat demanding an apology from Khan. He refused to apologize, saying, I am saying exactly what the Supreme Court has said. I only asked for rehabilitation of poor farmers. I never spoke against the construction of the dam. I will not apologize for my comments on the issue. An unofficial ban of Fana was put in place for the entire state of Gujarat. Protests occurred against the film and Khan which included the burning of posters of the star in effigy. As a result, several multiplex owners stated that they could not provide security to customers. Thus, all theater owners in Gujarat refused to screen the film. Intolerance Controversy 2015-2016 In November 2015, Khan expressed the feelings that he and his wife Kiran Rao had about rising intolerance in India at an event in New Delhi hosted by the Indian Express newspaper. This was in response to recent political events in India, including violent attacks against Muslims and intellectuals, along with the absence of swift or strong condemnation from the country's ruling BJP Modi government. Khan remarked that his wife Kiran, fearing for her family, suggested to move out of India. To his surprise, Khan's remark about intolerance in India and his wife suggesting to move out of India sparked political controversy, referred to as the intolerance row in the Indian media, and started a debate on social media. Khan faced intense backlash for his comments, with certain sections of society branding him anti-national, while others voiced their agreement about his concerns and applauded him. Much of the backlash against Khan, an Indian Muslim with a Hindu wife, came from Hindu nationalist groups. The far-right political party Shiv Sena sharply criticized Khan's statement, labeling it the language of treachery. Ruling political party Bharatiya Janata Party BJP remarked the incident a moral offense. In the wake of the controversy, burning of posters took place in Ludhiana by the Sena Party. Punjab's Shiv Sena chief Rajiv Tandon also made a violent threat, offering a 1 lakh rupees $1, reward to anyone who slaps Amir Khan. As a result, the Khan family was given additional police protection. Khan responded to the backlash and threats by stating, It saddens me to say you are only proving my point. In response to the backlash, Khan received support from a number of celebrities and public figures, including Indian National Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, as well as Rithik Roshan, Shah Rukh Khan, Mamata Banerjee, Rajkumar Harani, Kabir Khan, Farah Khan, A. R. Rahman and Priyanka Chopra. Several, on the other hand, criticized Khan's remark about intolerance, including Shatrugan Sinha, Anupam Kher, Ravina Tandon and Vivek Abaroy. Amir Khan later stated that he was not leaving the country. A lawsuit was filed against Khan and Rao at Janpur in a CJM2 court. 
Khan was dropped as brand ambassador of the government's official Incredible India tourism campaign. A company that Khan was endorsing, Snapdeal, faced backlash from Khan's critics for being associated with him, before the company distanced themselves from his comments. Khan later clarified his comments in January 2016, saying that he never said India was intolerant or that he thought about leaving the country, saying he was born in India and will die in India. He said that his comments were taken out of context and the media was responsible for it to some extent. Despite this, he continued to face backlash later in the year, with calls for protests and boycotts against his film Dangle. In October 2016, the Vishva Hindu Parishad called for protests against the film. Following its release in December 2016, hashtag Boycott Dangle was trending on Twitter, and BJP General Secretary Kalash Vijayvarya called for protests against the film. Despite calls to boycott the film, Dangle surprisingly turned out to be a massive hit, grossing more than 500 crore rupees $70 million in India. Personal life Khan married Reena Dutta, who had a small part in Kayamit Say Kayamit Talk, on 18 April 1986. They have two children, a son named Junaid and a daughter, Ira. Reena was involved briefly in Khan's career when she worked as a producer for Lagan. In December 2002, Khan filed for divorce. Rina took custody of both children. On 28 December 2005, Khan married Kiran Rao, who had been an assistant director to Ashutosh Gowarikar during the filming of Lagan. On 5 December 2011, Khan and his wife announced the birth of their son, Azad Rao Khan, through a surrogate mother. In 2007, Khan lost a custody battle for his younger brother Faisal to their father, Tahir Hussain. His father died on 2 February 2010. A practicing Muslim, Khan along with his mother Zenat, performed Hajj, an annual Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca, Saudi Arabia, and a mandatory religious duty for Muslims, in 2013. His wife Kiran Rao is a Hindu. In March 2015, Khan stated that he has quit non-vegetarian food and has adopted a vegan lifestyle after being inspired by his wife. Prior to pursuing a full-time acting career, Khan was an avid tennis player. He played professionally in state-level championships in the 1980s, becoming a state-level tennis champion, prior to entering a full-time acting career. In 2014, Amir Khan participated in an exhibition match for the International Premier Tennis League, playing doubles with world champions Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic and Sonia Mirza. During his visit to China in January 2018, he participated in a competitive ping pong table tennis match with former Olympic champion Lu Goliang. Amir Khan considers Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar as his inspiration. Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar was fearless. He propagated love and humanity. He loved people and gave them a thought of humanity. Babasaheb never gave up, he was fearless. So today I have had difficulties, problems or situation as bad I remember Babasaheb. That's why I get inspiration from him. That's why Babasaheb is my role model," said Amir Khan. Filmography <inaudible> 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 Khan won nine Filmfare Awards, out of 32 nominations, including the Best Actor Award for Raja Hindustani 1996, Lagan 2001, and Dangle 2016, the Best Actor Critics Award for Rang de Basanti 2006, the Best Film Award for Lagan, Tar Zameen Par 2007, and Dangle, and the Best Director Award for Tar Zameen Par. He has also won four National Film Awards, as an actor in Kayamit Se Kayamit Talk and Rock as the producer of Lagan and Madness in the Desert 2004, and as the director and producer of Tar Zameen Par. Overseas, Lagan earned an Oscar nomination for Best Foreign Language Film at the 74th Academy Awards in 2002. This made it one of only three Indian films to receive an Oscar nomination, along with Mehboob Khan's Mother India 1957 and Mira Nair's Salam Bombay 1988. This also makes Amir Khan one of the few Indian filmmakers to ever receive an Oscar nomination. Khan later commented on the loss of Lagan at the Oscars. Certainly we were disappointed. 
but the thing that really kept us in our spirits was that the entire country was behind us." In addition to an Oscar nomination, Lagan received a European Film Award nomination for Best Non-European Film, and won awards at a number of international film festivals, including the Bergen International Film Festival, Leeds International Film Festival, Locarno International Film Festival, Nat Film Festival, and Portland International Film Festival. Tar Zameen Par was also India's submission to the Oscars, but did not receive a nomination. Another Amir Khan production, Peepli Live 2010, was India's submission to the Oscars, while Dobi Got 2011 was longlisted for the BAFTA Award for Best Film Not in the English Language, though neither were nominated. In 2017, Dangle won him the inaugural Best Asian Film Award at Australia's 7th AACTA Awards, as well as Movie of the Year and Top Foreign Actor from China's Duban Film Awards, and it is an award nominee for the 68th Berlin International Film Festival. In addition, Khan has received honorary accolades, including the Government of India's Padma Shri in 2003 and Padma Bhushan in 2010, and an honorary doctorate by the Maulana Azad National Urdu University for his distinguished contributions to the Indian cinema and entertainment industry. In 2011, he accepted an invitation from the Berlin Film Festival to be a member of the jury, after having previously turned down their offer three times since 2008. In 2012, he appeared on the Time 100 list of most influential people in the world. In 2017, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences invited Khan for its membership, and he received an award for National Treasure of India. From the government of China, despite having won numerous awards and honours, Amir Khan is known for refusing to attend, or accept awards from, Indian Film Award ceremonies. This has occasionally led to controversy, notably at the 2017 National Film Awards, where Khan was snubbed from the Best Actor Award for his performance in Dangle. Committee member Priyadarshan explained that they did not want to award him because of his refusal to attend the award ceremony. Despite avoiding Indian award ceremonies, he had made an exception for the 2002 Academy Awards. His reasoning was that he saw it as an opportunity for his film Lagan to reach a wider audience, but did not care much about the award itself. See also 100 Crore Club, 1000 Crore Club, Cons of Bollywood List of highest grossing Indian films List of highest grossing Indian films in overseas markets Topic Bibliography Kubchandani, Lada 2002. Amir Khan, Actor with a Difference. New Delhi, Rupa & Co. ISBN 978-81-291-0046-7. Daniels, Christina 2011. I'll Do It My Way, The Incredible Journey of Amir Khan. New Delhi, Om Books International. ISBN 978-93-80069-22-7. Chandra, Pradeep 2014. Amir Khan, Actor, Activist, Achiever. New Delhi, Nyoga Books. ISBN 978-93-83098-29-3. Footnotes <laughs>